Hello, welcome to another repair of a say. Today we have a little bit of a different setup. We're going to test that, see how it goes and close and more. Okay, something a little bit more interesting today. We have a, oops, personal data. We have an iPhone 6S, which is not turning on not charging. Um, yeah, I already opened up the device and I have already hooked it up to the power supply to see what's happening, but let's do it again. So, I haven't taken the board out or anything, so yeah, let's just start with Duncan powering with our power supply. Success. Where is it? There it is. So Five volts, two amps. Something seems a bit. That's the wrong one. Different. It's the right one. Just gonna connect the battery. Um. No power on. My I power max. Nothing's happening. And I have no output. And powering on takes 4.45 amps. So, which means we have a short somewhere. Not a big one, but well, 0.4 amps. Something should get warm. And I think we have some temperatures up here on the connectors. We'll see. Everything else is cold. Here we have a warm spot, so that's enough. So let's begin with the show, with the repair show. My camera is now here. Um, let's see if I can get used to that would like to have it more beside my screen. Well, we'll see how it goes. So, first we take off the screen. Four screws. Don't mix them up. Customer said phone was charging the last day in the morning fully, then it got very hot and turned off. Then it didn't charge anymore. I did try to charge it, it charges a little bit, but well, it's falling. And so Charge won't hold because someone is eating our amps. So let's get rid of the camera connector. We can test if we if the amp the leak is still present and we disconnect some stuff. So we disconnect the screen and the rear camera. So I'm gonna hook it up again. Let's zoom a bit in. Why? Because we can to adjust this a little bit. Did 
this. Okay. Soak it up again with our black cable. Everything is off. Turn the iPower Max on. Still pulling. Okay, turn it off. Now we're going to go under the microscope. Let's see what's going on. We have a better view. Something changed. Oh, that's okay. I have to put the Brio camera aside, so it's not much special to see. This looks a bit funny here. So we have, it seems like we have some water damage in here. Still knowing the phone looks like it's never been, have been opened up. Everything is very clean. Fingerprints could be mine. Also the adhesive looks original as far as I can tell. All the screws seem like they've never been screwed with. Okay, so move it in. And we're going to Move the camera connector aside. It's going to fold it a little bit. So I'm going to take the alcohol. To get off the that foam thing here. Razors. Let's get everything right here. And we can lift this up. Very easy. Or almost very easy. Sometimes it goes a little bit more easy than the other time. Today it doesn't want to come off. Still knowing we have soaked it in alcohol. The tweezers are already bent. I like that when it is bent. Okay, one way somewhere here we have something shining. Can be okay. This is sealed. Tweezers are not good for that. Come on, get off. Don't want to make a Hollywood blockbuster of this. Come on, let go, let go. So, I 
with this sheet. Okay, here is something suspicious, but we'll see. Let's drown this in alcohol. Turn it on. Taking four point. I mean point five amps. Thing is happening. But it's warm here. Somewhere is getting somewhat is getting warm. Let's try to turn on the device. I'm gonna connect the we don't have to. I can use the power button. Let's see. Let's see if we can turn it on. Looks like 0.5 amps, 7.9. We have a boot. Nothing. The problem is on the other side. Okay, nothing to see. So, already 12 minutes. We didn't have to, we, we didn't took the board out yet. That's the last repair. Okay, board out. Gonna take a magnet map. to lay all the screws down in the same position as they positioned here. Well, sort of. No. Is it like that? Not with my bare hands. Mm-hmm. 
shield up our volume button. Let's connect. Where I think we have a hidden screw. Can you remember? No. Python 7. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Sleepwalker Show. Okay, start new. Annoying. Yeah, antenna screws. I'm just gonna bend this a little bit. It's probably okay. I'll just bend it a little bit up. Um, okay, this should be the last screw. Let's try this again. I hate these antenna cables here. We have to get rid of that. Okay. Bare bone. Let's try this again. Still have a short. The power mix is up. Um, okay, so let's see if we have something on the back side. Wi Fi. Hopefully, not a short on the Wi Fi. So, let's get quick back to the microscope. We have some stuff around which could cause. Short capacitors. Um, I'm gonna turn on. I forgot to connect this to OBS. So no ZXW. You guys, just give me a second. So we have a short on. VCC main, VCC bat, probably VCC main, because, well, let's see, on series, on 6s, so, let's see, where's a, Battery connector, it's gone. It is on the very downside almost. PP at VC. C is going nowhere. So this is passing probably a Oh, Tigris. No, I don't think Tigris. So, this is a bat. It's going to MOSFET Q2300. Um, we could measure with apps near this. Um, To see if we have some leakage or not. This is on the same 
inside. Just put that screws aside. Can't see anything with that. Uh, no, it's on the other side. Okay, under the shield. Uh, that's that's very cool. Not gonna do that. No. Don't want to open every shield up. Um, it's not a shield. Um, shall we? Yeah, no, I don't know. Let's see if we can follow the one spot. Microscope. Let's see if we can follow warm spots. Okay, it's unfreezing. Because it's getting warm without turning that thing up. What happened? Short is gone. I must be joking. It's not fair. Short is gone. Not there anymore. We are taking 0, 0.0 amps. Come on. I must be joking. I swear I had a short. No one's gonna believe me because no one saw it. No, no, maybe it's just because the phone has cold. I'll show you my amp meter. I can. Can I? I think I can. So something is weird looking here. So here we are. I'm not gonna stay here. Well, you see, kind of. 0.48 volts and 2 amps. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I power max. Okay, first output, then I power max. We should connect the board. Yes, we should. Again. See that? 0.015. We had 0 0.4 amps, but it's gone, so, okay. Never had a short disappearing so easy. Um, okay, I'm cool with that. Let's try to turn on this device. Kind of jumping a little bit. And the position is not very good. Yeah, I think you can see. So okay, taking nothing. Everything is connected. Let's power it on. And of course, it is booting. Yeah. <laughs> Magic. Kelte. Free spray. Short killer. So we're taking one amp. Goes back to five, seven. Energy saving mode. Well, that's enough. 
Now we're gonna we're going to make a screen and see what happens. I don't know what will happen. Let's take a quick look under the microscope. Maybe we have something which is burned out. Must have been a cat. That's the only real explanation that I have. Take a quick look around. We saw something obvious what we thought it would not be. And it was this guy. Oh, let's have a look what it is. Let's have a look what this is. Too much light here. I had that light adjustment. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's have a look what it is. We, this is the picture of big cap. This is small, two small, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's take these two big caps. These two big caps are FL uh, diodes, not a fuse. Um, and the cap is a cap on the leg of this side. So, yeah, that's a cap. C3234. Letch, letch, measure that in diode mode. Let's see what we get. 0.35, which is a normal reading. ZXW says on the other side. Yeah, there is something weird. So we have no ground. Why we don't have ground? Must be joking. Okay. No one's going to believe that journey. So this is a capacitor. You can look, prove it for yourself if you like. Um, okay. Let's take it. Yes, come on. Somebody in there. I need the microscope because I don't see anything, so... Dial mode, red probe on the ground. Right. So, this should be ground, which is not ground. Totally weird. And this should be 3.1. Yeah, 
editor something no this cannot be a capacitor what happens if we turn it on we measure it let's try we're taking zero and that's going volts mode power device up my pro ground on the lower side nothing which is okay on the upper side come on also nothing I do not get this should be that here what does it was it what does it say then that it does um l to c i s p t o r cam rear camera okay This is rear camera. Rear camera is the main cam. Where's the rear cam, the face cam? Which should make more sense because that's connector for 4D. That's J3200 from the screen. Um, okay, doesn't make any sense. Do we have iPhone 6S? This is an iPhone 6s. Yes, it is. Okay. Nope. What temps? And lens mode. how much resistance we have here to here 0 0.6 ohm or a cap which should be does not tell us maybe we should look at the schematics to see what this cap should do well I'm not going to do that, should I? Oh, that's schematics for 6S. Do I have a schematic diagram? Oops. Can I open this up? I don't know how. Name to shirt search in Shima. Nothing happens. This is a bit weird. Um, the, the caps on the left and the right are not belonging together, so I'm going to scratch this up here. Where is this coming from, this cap? I don't know. 
Let's see if we can follow. There's a button to follow. Net location, the next pin position. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes not. This is going to U3300. Rear cam, chip. No, not rear cam chip. Well, it has something to do with the rear cam. Boost driver, lead driver, stroke driver, rear cam, LED, which is flash. We also have VCC main, but not on that line. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna configure this as fast as I can. I'd like to show you that. If I can connect my screen to the computer. So I'm going to have to tell OBS to give me a screen. Monitor 2. Yeah, I'm okay with that, am I? Let me just check if I have something on the monitor. Personal data. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. Monitor two. Put my put my OBS on the other screen. Um so let's see what I see. Okay. So suspicious cap here. This is the what? Something happened. Uh, okay. Today Monday? I don't think so. Okay, reverse back. Forget everything I said. Um, I was here. That's a camera connector, but we are actually. I thought we were here. Here we are, all caps. But I was wrong. That connector where I'm looking at is here. And this is a diode touch tool. So, touch to own access data requests. And yeah. Okay, it's a diode, which makes sense. Okay, our short disappeared, so what are we gonna do next? Not much. Okay. If I were very fast, I could hook this up to a power supply and leave it there for, I did leave it on for, I guess, one minute and maybe it got burned out, but I think there must be a broken cap on this part, but we're not going to find it, I guess, because the short is gone, as I said. So let's take the nicer camera. Okay, my power max is off. We're gonna hook up the screen. Let's see. And 
see what's happening. Click. 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 So. Power supply on. IMX on. Pulling zero amps. Turning on. We have an Apple logo. <laughs> okay. Probably one of the easiest short repair of what I had. Privacy filter, someone says in Australia. Here we have a code. Touch is working. Okay, this is the end of the video. This is how you repair a short 0.4 amps, which is not much so. This must, I'm not sure if this was a main line, as I said, if we go back to, let's see if we can get to a conclusion. I don't think so. So here's the battery connector. We're missing a bit of our desktop. What's happening now? Come on. That's recording this screen. Okay. battery connection pulling 0 0.4 amps which is going to a MOSFET which is here which is the drain source drain tigris this is maybe this is in main. This is probably gate tigress active active diode. I don't know. Okay, then we should leave this. Then we have here a PP VCC main. A lot of VCC main here. Um, okay, now we have also some VCC main here on this filter I don't know what it does 4100 could be same part as we have on the cameras I think it's something for a pull up or pull down um, on the XLDO enable PP 2.57 blah blah. This will pass here and maybe go to Mamba LDO. Or here. Well, here we have a diode and cap. Well, you can follow this track wherever this goes also going to Wi-Fi okay I'm not gonna pull this through we also have two caps here beside uh, Wi-Fi can be a cap here no it's a coil Yeah, conclusion is, I don't know. I guess we have a broken small cap. 
which has burnt out and probably have more caps on that row. It must be somewhere here because this is the area, the third on the upper side here where we had the heat. Nowhere else. We're just powering on on the power supply, not turning on the phone. It was getting warm in this area. So there must be must have been a small cap, which has my mouse. Where's my mouse here? Which probably did cause the things to go insane. This camera is useless now. Okay. Well, phone is working. As I said, um, yeah. Um, we can have a last inspection on the microscope. Turn this off. Let's have a look at this filter or whatever it is. This is, you can see something. So here's that filter buried in smoke. Here we have some caps, but so we have had, have had diode, which is this here, and this is the cap. But, well, sometimes the cap dies, but it looks okay. Mm. Well, I'm gonna stop digging around here. Oh, some marks here where... No. It looks like we did lose the connection to ground sort of way um, yeah so backside near wife by chip we have two big caps which I am sure which was not the cause these two here which look very very nice um, that's it okay very interesting video of how to make an automatic repair. This is very funny, I never had something before. So you have a small short and it disappears. Well, can be that it got hot. Like we put in, well, it was not taking much, 0.4 amps, so killing a short with this kind of power is not enough well not in my experience well it did disappear everything is good now the phone is working uh, i'm going to put it back in the house and, and test it and see if everything works anything gets hot or yeah but this is working strangely so that was a mysterious repair odyssey today thank you for watching and let me know what you think in the comments, would be nice, and see you next time.